Hey folks, this is Joe from Joe's Classic Car Radio. We're going to go over a few of the basic features of a radio that's been converted using the Aurora Designs FMR1 conversion module. Now this radio is originally for a 1966 Ford Galaxy. Originally it had AM only tuning and a single speaker output. Now with the standard conversion it's AM, FM stereo with an aux input and four speaker outputs. Mounted in the dash, the radio will look 100% stock and all of the original controls including the volume, tone, tuning, and all of the push buttons still control the radio like they originally did. The tone control can also be used as a balance and fader control and we'll go over that in a little bit. But let's get started. We're going to turn the radio on. Weekdays on Fox Business. Bottom line here. The radio comes on in AM mode. That's because this is the last mode the radio was in when it was turned off. If we want to switch to FM mode, we simply turn the radio off and back on again quickly. The radio is now in FM mode. We can tune any FM station up and down the dial using the original preset push buttons or the tuning control. Now the radio also has the ability to play an iPod, your cell phone, or another audio device through the aux input. To switch to aux input, we're going to do it the same way we did to switch to FM, by turning the radio off and back on again quickly. The radio is now playing an aux input. In this case, it's playing our iPod. Now the radio won't control the iPod or your cell phone, but it will play whatever audio is coming from that device. Let's now discuss the balance and fader controls. As I mentioned, this is all controlled by the tone control. For balance, all you need to do is adjust the tone control back and forth in the counterclockwise direction, twice. You'll hear the radio make a beep, and then you can use the tone control as the balance. Adjust as long as you want, and then when you're done, simply let go of the control. After approximately two seconds, the radio will beep again, and then the control will become a tone control once again. Let's demonstrate. Now I realize in this video you can't tell that we switched from left side to right side. However, I hope that you did notice that after we adjusted the control twice, that the radio beeped, indicating it was ready to be used as a balance control. Now let's try fader control. The faders handled the same way, except we're going to adjust the control twice in the clockwise direction. Again, the radio will beep, indicating the tone control has become a fader control, and we can adjust as long as we want until we're done. After approximately two seconds, the radio will beep again and switch back to a tone control. Let's demonstrate that. And that's all there is to it. Now the radio is back to having a standard tone control that you can use to adjust the tone of the radio in whatever mode it's in. Once the balance and fader control has been set, it's stored in the radio and isn't changed until you change it again. I hope this better explains some of the basic functions of a converted radio and helps to show you how much can be done with these old radios. The radio will still look 100% stock, but it sounds fantastic. 
If you have any questions, please visit our website at www.joesclassiccarradio.com. There you can find pricing, options, and a contact page. Hope to hear from you soon.